So, there was a lady that was blind, and she had a boyfriend, and they was together for 10 years. And the lady was beautiful, she was immaculate, like she was way, she was like super pretty, she was like Bernice Burgos, Juju Cameron, ex-girlfriend, and motherfucking uh, Nicole Murphy, mixed all in one, like she was like super bad, but she was blind. And she was with her boyfriend for 10 years. The boyfriend loved her to death. He would hold doors for her, he would do everything for her. So she would always hear people say, oh, you such a, you know, fine young man, you know, you, you know, you a good man, and boom, 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 she had people compliment him on his eyes and stuff like that, because he had hazel brown eyes. So anyway, you know, one day she, you know, she had like a little health issue or whatever, because I think she was like, you know, she wasn't eating to the best of her ability, you know, she was eating sweets and, you know, Chinese restaurant food, whatever it may be, like, you know, she wasn't like on her A1 health game. So anyway, she needed a kidney. You know, the boyfriend of 10 years, like, you know, I love you to death. You know, I'm gonna give you my kidney. He gave her a kidney. So anyway, she like, yo, I love you, you know. Let's get married, you know what I'm saying? So mind you, they've been together for 10 years. She had a kidney issue, he gave her the kidney. So he like, all right, they eventually gets married. Now, two years into their marriage, you know, she crying one day. So um, he like, what's going on? Like, what's the problem? She like, yo, we've been married for two years. We've been together 10 years. You know, I would do anything, you know, like, I, I just wanna see your face, like, you know, I love you and I want to see what you look like. We've been together forever. I only can picture what you look like. I want to see what you look like. So, um, he was like, all right, so what you want me to do? She like, yo, you know, like, I just wish something could happen. So they went to see a doctor and the doctor said, yo, it'd be a possibility if she, she could, that she can see again, but she will need a new set of eyes. And that might be hard to find. So, you know, the dude like, yo, you know, I love her to death. This is my wife, and we've been together 12 years, married two years, you know, out to 12. And, you know, he said, yo, I, I, I'll give her my eyes, you know what I'm saying? And he said, is it, is it reversible? So the doctor like, yeah, we could um, do laser treatment, give, give her your eyes, and then, you know, after a certain amount of years, you know, whatever, you know, we could um, do another surgery and you can get your eyes back. So he like, all right, let's do it. How much is it? You know, they told him the price of money, him and her saved up or whatever, whatever. And then eventually, you know, they did the treatment. Like they did the laser surgery for the eyes and he gave her, her, her his eyes. You know what I'm saying? So the day the surgery was over and everything, they said you couldn't see for three days because you know, the, the light gonna be bright for you. It's gonna harm you, you know? So they had to keep our eyes wrapped for three days, but they like, yo, you know, stay indoors. In three days, you can unwrap the thing off your eyes. So the, here's the third day. So now it's time to unwrap her eyes or whatever. So um, they sat down, you know, and it was just them and they had dinner and everything. And then um, he said, babe, you ready? So she like, yeah, I'm ready. He finally, um, you know, he unwrapped her eyes. And once she seen what he really looked like, you know, he wasn't, a which she imagined, you know, he was unattractive, you know, to her, you know what I'm saying? She, he was very unattractive. So, you know, she was so used to hearing the people touch, saying the comments that how much of a gentleman he is and a nice young man and his eyes was good, because, you know, he got hazel brown eyes, but to, to her standards, he was unattractive. So, um, you know, she told him, like, yo, I can't do this no more. So like, what you mean you can't do this no more? She like, yo, you know, um, I don't think you're the right one for me. So he like, what? What are you crazy? Like I gave you my kidney, and then uh, you know we've been married two years, been together ten years, been married two years, twelve years. Now that I gave you my eyes, and you see what I look like, and you talk about you don't want to um, be with me anymore. So you know he was like real depressed, and she like, yeah, you know I'm gonna file for a divorce. Like she got stone cold on him. So anyway, eventually this man jumped. You know he killed himself. And then when the man killed himself, you know, um, she eventually moved on and was living her life like she became real worldly. The moral of this story is this, you know, um,
you know, you got to love those that love you. And um, this man put in a lot of time, effort, and work in with this woman. And he was real, you know, real hospitable with her, real courteous and everything. And um, she was blind. And then, you know, once he gave her his eyes and she was able to see the world, you know what I'm saying? And the colors and the different levels and calibers of men and how beautiful different people was, she no longer was attracted to this guy that gave her his blood, sweat, and tears for 12 years, you know? So sometimes people don't really love us. They just love what we do for them. And they deal with us because we're convenient at the time. And once they no longer need us or we're no longer of great service to them, you know, they'll shit on us. And this is what a lot of things in life, you know, men go through it, women go through it, family members go through it. You, got, you just got people out there in this world that use people and they take advantage of people's um, love for them. And, you know, they take advantage of people's emotions. And it ain't that the people who's on the, the bad end of the stick is suckers. It's just that they very good hearted people and they very loving and kind people. And the, per the people they dealing with is no good. So even though the lady was real attractive and beautiful on the outside, she was ugly inside, her heart was dark and she was like demonic, like, you know, she just was like a real ugly person inside. And even though the dude was ugly on the, on the outside, externally, he was beautiful inside. He had a good heart, he took care of her, he gave her his kidney, then he gave her his eyes. Like the dude was just like all the way in at the wind. He was unconditionally loyal and everything, man. So, you know, the message is, you know, everybody be mindful, man. Don't let nobody use you. You know, learn the difference between somebody really dealing with you for you and, and seeing your true value and worth and not just dealing with you out of conveniency until something better comes along or to they're in a better position to where they no longer need you. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got those type of people like that. So anyway, man, that's the story, man. I hope y'all learned something. You know, education is elevation. Knowing is half the battle. You know, stay up like a cup. Intelligence rule over negative nonsense. Stay studious, continue to read. Continue to stay inform informative. You know, and just try to strengthen yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and also financially. Um, stay tuned for 2020. It's a whole new decade. And um, I'm dropping four albums for 2020. You know, and um, the first one gonna be Obsession. And those who wanna follow me on Instagram is Warlord Iron Sheik, Warlord underscore Iron Sheik. Once you type in Warlord and underscore, my shit 9 out of 10 is going to pop up. My YouTube page, my Twitter page is Iron Sheik AOA. I-R-O-N, I-R-O-N-S-H-E-I-K-H-A-O-A. So, you know, you know, if y'all can, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, I got music on all platforms, you know. Just get with me, y'all. Stay blessed, man. And we're going to have a, you know, we're going to start 2020 off with, with good intentions. We're going to have a, we know we're going to have a good, we're going to start off with a bang, man. You know, there's a lot of people that ain't make it to this next decade. You know, and we got to send prayers in the air for them. A lot of people lost family members this year. I lost a family member this year. You know, a few, last week, a few days back. And, you know, we got to just keep moving and we got to contribute to society. We got to keep putting positive energy and we got to keep putting creativity and talent and, and structure out there because, you know, evil is winning. The dark force is growing daily. Pedophiles, rapists, thieves, malicious people, users, cannibals, witches, warlocks, unrighteous people, sodomists, everything like this capitalist, communist, like imperialism, like everything is, you know, the, the, the dark force is growing rapidly. So, you know, we got to stay strong and, you know, we got to, you know, we got to apply that energy. 
You know what I'm saying? We, and we got to proceed. Everybody stay blessed. Signing off. I am. Warlord. Owner.